بتاعك اخذوه لي حطوه لي على المكتب وشالوا لي رسميا الجنسيه المصريه A man recalls the heartbreak of being expelled from Egypt in a documentary on the legacy of the country's Jewish community. Film director Amir Ramsis says that their heritage has been all but suppressed in his native country. We've seen a distortion in the concept of the other in Egyptian mentality in recent years. Going back to the 30s and 40s in the last century, when Egyptian identity was a wider concept, is a way to show the tragedy we are living now. That's where the idea of a film about Egyptian Jews came from. Ramses's film was initially banned in local cinemas. Once approved, he says he was only allowed to screen it with a disclaimer that the film was a work of fiction. It's been showing in local cinemas for the past month. It was important to make a film about this part of Egyptian history because many people don't know about it and many people can't understand what happened or the circumstances of that era. Once a thriving community of 80,000, today's Egyptian Jews number about 200. Their exodus began with the creation of Israel in 1948. From then on, they were pressured to leave or expelled outright. Magda Haroun is one of the few who stayed behind. While they were teaching us at schools in history and national education classes, they didn't teach us how to accept one another. Jewish means Zionist, means Israeli, which means spy and enemy. Despite the anti-Jewish sentiment, she is not prepared to leave the country of her birth, where her father was a famed lawyer. Today, when I meet anyone who tells me we can't handle it anymore and we want to leave, I say, we won't leave. We won't leave here. This is our country. Abandoned synagogues in Cairo's streets are the little that's left for those who have stayed behind.